I had originally planned to do a gym vlog, which I'm gonna be filming tomorrow, and it's gonna be glute focused. Very different from what I've done previously because these are gonna isolate the glutes. It's gonna kind of evade you from using your quads and your legs because a lot of glute movements, if you are quad dominant, end up being quad exercises. And I've learned that because I am quad dominant. But anyway, I'm really excited to bring you guys that and you will be getting it next week. Right now, I decided because it just went well with the situation, I had purchased a bunch of Lulu Align leggings with the pockets. So I went through a phase where I was pretty much wearing Lulu as like a uniform. I stopped after I started to actually work out because I didn't feel like they supported me in the way that I like. I like a little bit of structure in my leggings, like a little bit of support in the glute area, just because I feel like it kind of helps me target it. Don't know if that's like a placebo thought there, who knows, but either way, it's been helping, I think. But once I saw that they had the pockets, I was like, you know what, let me give it another try. And it's amazing. It definitely, I don't know if it's like the added seams or something, but, the structure feels a little less blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not mad at it. Also, I don't really like to using prints because, well, this was mainly when I was working out at the public gym, but also filming and stuff. <sighs> okay, example, there was a guy who commented, okay, so she won't turn around for the bikinis. The least she could do was wear a solid colored legging. Exactly my friend exactly that's you proved my point and you shot yourself in the foot because that is exactly why I try to avoid it I also have like a tattoo back there as soon as the legging is a little bit see-through you can tell so I just wasn't really into like the solid super thin situation that the lines were giving me especially in like anything that wasn't a black color but this feels a lot thicker I think over the time that I have not worn them they probably rebooted their situation a little bit. This is the 25 inch. Don't expect for it to have been any longer than this. Obviously, I wish it was a little bit longer and I hate that their 25 is basically the one that they carry in store. I have this theory that with tall women, the longer the inseam, the smaller the size we can do. Don't know how true that is. And I'm not mad at this booty situation. Fire! All right, so Lulu got a custy back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not though. This is the 28 inch seam. The 31 might be a little bit of overkill, but you know I love a bunch of gathering in my ankles. So I'm not mad at it. So far from trying those two on, I would say, and I'm, it doesn't say the price tag and I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I would definitely think that the line pocket are way more worth it than the line without the pocket. I mean, just why would you not? You know what I mean? If you could have Beyonce, would you take the launch? Then I wanted to show you this situation. I saw this little tennis shirt, whatever it's called, sleeveless golf. Get your white people sports right, sleeveless golf polo. But my ladies in my gents, is this not the cutest, sexiest little fit you've ever seen? And this is why I genuinely love Lulu as a girl who is smaller up here. They will always have you snatched in the shirt department. So you can always go with a bigger bottom and you can bet your bottom dollar that they're gonna have a shirt that's gonna snatch you and make you look like a fucking hourglass, okay? because this is amazing and it's appropriate, absolutely no cleavage and I still think this is a fire, bomb, sexy outfit. I'm not changing, how about that? I mean, I have to because of you guys and I'm trying stuff on, but I'm wearing this today is what I mean. Yeah, these polos, I'm gonna buy every single color. And the booty is doing what it needs to do. All right, folks, so my theory rings true. This is the 31 inch seam. So much gathering at my ankles and I love it. It's like a, it gets me all, gets me going. I was able to go down a size, so this is a size six. I would never fit into a size six in a shorter inseam. So that's the one thing I think 
that is amazing about a 30 inch inseam on a tall woman. You're definitely able to, because of the stretch, go down a size and get a really nice snatch on your waist. And again, pockets, 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 wallet, wallet. Do you remember when Drake came out with that and everybody was everywhere? You went, wallet, wallet. I don't even know if that's what he says. Again, the green wore a 25 inch seam with inch seam. You heard me? It was a 25 inch seam and it was a size eight. So again, kind of like ankle pants with high socks, who really cares, right? The second pair wore a 28 inch inseam and uh, they were a size eight and they felt really comfortable. Definitely not as snug as these do, especially on my thigh area, cause that's like where I'm widest, but it still feels comfortable. Why am I talking about this one when I'm talking about the black one? The black one, they were like the perfect fit. You know what I mean? Like the three little bears, it was like the middle. So I would be happy wearing that one really in comparison to the other two. Although the emerald green was fire. And then this one, like I said, I, yeah, I'm excited now to know that in 31 inch seams, I can go a little smaller. It's definitely my vibe though. Shockingly, they are not see-through and they're squat proof, even though they're really thin. I'm impressed. All right, guys, so this was a quick little try-on. I hope you enjoyed it. I am definitely converted back to Lulu. I am not going to probably work out in these leggings, maybe once or twice, but in reality, these are definitely athleisure wear. I do want to get on my meditation vibe, though, so maybe yoga. Let me get more flexible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Until next time, please be safe. And if you haven't noticed, I've been dropping on Fridays. I don't mean to, and I'm still trying to aim for Thursdays, but I will try to get back on my ways. But this is it for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, please be safe, open hearts, be kind. I love you. Be